Hello, I'm Dr. Tamara Green. Welcome to the TJG News broadcast for July 21st, 2021. Uh, TJG News continues to research applications of technology with archaeological research. Uh, the research into how technology applies in archaeological research and I start to uncover new themes of research. Uh, one of the most important factors in research is uh, the uh, review and approval of the research and research has certain requirements uh, by a federal mandate to have been reviewed and approved by an institutional review board which is necessary to ensure that the research does not have harm for human subjects and the review process has been developed over the years due to some research that has been conducted in the past which had harm to human subjects. And recently, uh, one of the areas in which there have been recommendations to change uh, some of the process has been in the areas of consent uh, a consent form in research is, is given to participants of the research to uh, demonstrate their willingness to participate and to also uh, inform them of the boundaries of the research. And one area where this has been reviewed is in the coordination between uh, the research advisors and the institutional review boards in order to uh, allow for some uh, conditions to, to be applied for that informed consent process. So this this area of, of the review and approval of the research is not only specific for um, the, the research in, that TJG News is researching, which is the archaeological research. It's, it's actually designed more for uh, medical and clinical research, although as uh, technology is an interdisciplinary field, and the tools and applications of technology that are applicable for research that covers a number of areas, that is the uh, connection between the review process for research and, and how it ties in with archaeological research. As in archaeological research with technology, there are uh, number of advances in algorithms that have uh, made archaeological research easier. However, the ethical issues that apply, ethical and legal issues that apply with archaeological research do need to be addressed in order to um, implement those advances in technology. Therefore, it's necessary to uh, review the, the application process for research within all fields, not just um, medical, clinical, or archaeology, but whenever a research has the potential to have harm to participants. One type of research that is uh, designed to benefit the participants of the research is action research and with action research the participants are, and, and the researchers both receive benefits from the research and therefore uh, 
it's it, it, the concept of, of having both the participants and the researchers benefit is something that uh, can apply across across disciplines. So that is the area that uh, TJG News has been has been uh, studying, and will continue to deliver more information about it as uh, we get further on into the topic. And as always, you're always welcome to visit the website to uh, check on the progress and to uh, subscribe to the channel. And I want to thank you for joining the broadcast today. Thank you.